hate that. In the video, it magnifies that. That fucker's like... <laughs> Alright, that was a nice little... Hi, I'm Benavator. Here, come, come, don't God. Okay, hi, I'm Benavator. I'm going to be showing you how to make a drift track, more or less. This is actually just my view of how to make one. Some people are like, you're fucking stupid, that's not how you do it. You don't use real bike frames, but I'm like, it's cheap as fuck. This bike I found for, uh, this one was actually on the curb. This one was on the curb. It doesn't have front wheel, but I have other front wheels. Um, the other one over there that's actually mostly finished, I just need the rubbers and the tires. Um, yeah, that thing was, um, two bucks for the bike frame, and... The most expensive part was the tires. The steel was cheap as shit. It's electrical tube steel. The one that you run wires through is like a buck seventy per ten feet. Anyway, um, if you'll get a bit closer here, first you got to take off any uh, stupid shit like this um, guard, chain guard, so your pants don't get caught. And it doesn't even help. Anyway, first you take that off. Okay. Secondly, you can do one of two things. You have to get the chain off no matter what, though. Uh, here. Here, wait, hold on. No, don't film me. Don't film me. There, I think that's right. Okay. Anyway, um, what you could do is... First off, um, you could compromise the integrity of the thing if you want to do that, but, like, it's intertwined here. There's no way of just getting it out, unless, of course, you find some sort of master link, um, but I find it a thousand times easier just to, um, cut the chain. Now that that's off and that's off, another piece that some people have problems with is this. Um, I have no idea what it's called. You can call it with whatever you want. But um, anyway, uh, it took me a while to figure that out. I'm sure some people it took much less time. But for me, I felt like a dumbass when I figured it out. It's just a matter of force. Um, Alright, uh, so let me grab something. Be right back. Alright. Okay, now that we're back in like zero seconds from you, you, but it only took like a minute or so for me. Um, now what you're supposed to do, I believe, is, uh, here, hold on. First of all, you'll find a, it's a, um, it's a hexagonal, I think, bolt. Um, you just, that's easy. Um. It does help if you take off these pedals, but I prefer just grinding them off because the pedals, most of the ones I get are really rusty, and that doesn't work. Oh, fucking day long ones. Okay, no, actually, well, yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, this is just lefty-loosey like normal, and then you just do this, um, I find it easy, it's, uh, bugs, anyway, um, forget what these are called, uh, they're very distinct, if you know the name of them, I'll probably put, like, in annotations somewhere on the screen of showing the actual name of these, I don't know what the hell they're called, though, uh,
I remember me and my cameraman and uh, my cameraman's current girlfriend. Actually, we tried to get one of these fuckers off forever. He remembers it. We were, we were going really stupid about it. Oh, I'm pretty sure he remembers, right? Yeah, he remembers. He's nodding. It was it was the stupidest thing ever. Um, we're sitting there like trying to push the pedals in opposite directions, like a dumbass and shit. Anyway, um, you'll, you'll find like this sort of ring, and you're supposed to. Uh, is there anything I can catch it on? This might work. Yeah. My cameraman might be joyed to find out I got him some ear protection because he bitched about that last time. Anyway. There we go. Yeah, it's usually easier to do this with a nail, but of course I'm doing it with copper pipe. Which sort of looks like a one-hitter. <laughs> Not that I... put a link in the description for where you could find the that helps uh, for where you could find the PVC pipes that you put over the tires the tires I got at Harbor Freight um, I'm not sure if in the UK or in Australia um, you sell I'm sure you have probably a more wide variety of stores but mainly for us it's Lowe's Home Depot and Menards um, but yeah there's this store um, it's not that popular. It's called Harbor Freight. They sell the cheapest stuff of amazing quality. Like, I've got go-kart tires with ball bearings in them for 8 bucks. Uh, they're 8-inch, but you can find them cheaper there. 10-inch um, tires actually cost only 6 bucks. Um, anyway, but yeah, uh, you can get a welder for 80 bucks. Like a, a good quality welder, like the one that I use. Am I fucking turning this thing the right way? Don't seem like I am. Anyway, but yeah. Yeah, I'm late. Yes, I was, for the love of God. But yeah. Anyway, plus you'll get this, um, it's a 44 tooth sprocket, most of them have the same size, uh, sprockets. You get a 44 tooth sprocket, which I've bolted to tires before to make go-karts, uh, but that's using a bike chain, and a lot of people don't like using it because it can't handle the same amount of torque that other chains can, um, like thicker gauge ones, um, anyway. Yeah, uh, you might have, jeez, you're close, anyway, you might have seen the, um, here, film the other one real quick, turn on, that's my other one, uh, like I was saying, um, cheap ass tube, that was actually a two dollar bike, and those tires, those are, uh, eight inch non-marking tires, which actually come pink, I didn't paint them, um, what you do is deflate them, and then, uh, you can buy any size, See, I'm going to put two links at the bottom. One's going to be to eBay, which is uh, uh, only one-foot sections of pipe, and they have the cheapest if you only need to buy one, although if you're buying it for multiple uh, drift trikes, uh, then there's another link below it. 
and um, that one sells longer lengths cheaper, but the uh, shorter lengths on that site are more expensive. So if you're only buying for one eBay, if you're buying for multiple ones like I am, um, then go for the second one. Anyway, um, yeah, because I'm buying multiple feet of it for uh, several bikes, like this one, this one's going to one of my friends. I actually managed to get quite a few of my friends into this sport because it's much more fun doing it in a group downhill. Um, plus, if you ever get in trouble, you can share the blame a bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm laughing at my cameraman. As if I'm trying to, trying to get him in trouble. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Keep filming it. No, not me. Yep. Alright. Awkwardly putting on headgear so that he doesn't bitch about the sound. There we go. Um, here, come around. Because uh, I don't want him getting hit with the sparks. Anyway, that stuff is really thick, and then you can easily get off. Here, take off here. Yeah, you can easily get off the sprocket if you want, um, because those things actually work pretty well as go kart tires. Um, go kart tires <laughs> to um, work as go kart power trans whatever transmissions. Um, so yeah, this just about concludes part one. Um, this one actually has brakes on it, which I'll probably put on the one that I'm going to power with gas, which might be that one. Um, but in the next section, I'll be showing you me uh, grinding here, here, and right here. And then you can, um, and then what you can do is you can grind through this halfway and then bend it and then re-weld it back. Um, that, that's what I did with that one, and that angled the tire really well, like how I like it. Um, but yeah, that concludes part one, and peace.